Hello friends, Fire Medic Jason here. Welcome to our house, Adams County Fire Rescue Station 11. This is in the center of our district, 33,000 square feet. This was built in August of 2019. Now let me introduce you to my partner on the medic unit. Hi, I'm Firefighter Donner. Let's go take a look at the museum. This museum was built to house the history of both fire departments when Southwest Adams County and North Washington merged in 2015. We decided upon building the new station that we were going to put a museum to hold all the history between both organizations. Follow me and I'll show you where we spend our nights. So we run shifts, we run 48 hour shifts, so we have to eat, sleep, and live here. So let me show you where we sleep. Now this station has the capability of housing 12 firefighters out of here. We each get our own room. We run three shifts, A, B, and C. Let's take you upstairs and show you where we eat. At first sight, our kitchen looks like it may be oversized, but with 12 people in this firehouse, we need a large kitchen so we can do all the cooking and prepping. Each shift has two refrigerators and each shift has its own pantry. What do firefighters like to eat? Come on this way, let me show you the offices. Now, I know what you think, firefighting's all fun and games, but we still have to do a lot of paperwork on our regular hours. So we have our, we have our mini offices up here. Here we have the lieutenant, our captain, and our battalion chief. This is our day room, so this is at night. Um, we get time to relax. This is where we can relax and watch some TV. We're still on duty, so we have to be ready to respond to calls, but at, at night we get a chance to just kick our feet up and relax, if, we get, if that happens. During the summer, a lot of our time is spent out here on the balcony. We'll eat out here, we'll hang out out here, just a, t a chance to get away, release some stress, and, and hang out. Now that you've seen the balcony, let's go check out the gym. Here at Adams County, our firefighters are required to work out at least an hour a day. Over here we got our crossfit, over here we got our cardio and weight. Next, let's step out of the bay. Show you where we keep all the apparatus. All right, so this station was built with uh, Tech Rescue being you know, the main discipline out of this, uh, this station. So as you can see, we have our rope course that we use for rope rescue. And if you follow us, we'll head up to the third floor. I'll show you our confined space. So as you can see in this area, this is meant for confined space. So we can practice. This actually drops down, as you can see, down all the way down. And we actually have a, a cement cell down there that we can actually climb into. Let's go downstairs. This station was built in three zones, and that's because cancer is one of the biggest threats to firefighters in today's fire service. We have a hot zone, which is where we keep all the contaminants. And as you walk in this way, it's gonna be the warm zone. The purpose of this area is where you can take your bunker gear off, strip it down and separate it so that you can put it into our extractors. And then you can come over here and get your second set of bunker gear to get yourself back in service. Now, after your gear is to the washer you still got to clean up yourself on this side this is the cold zone and this is where the uh, firefighter is going to go to their room wearing the gowns Woo! that was a crazy call oh hey guys let me get back in my room get changed and i'll take you out to the apparatus bay and show you all the cool stuff Woo! all right guys let's head out to the bay so like I was saying earlier, this house is a, it's a specialty house with detective rescue being the main specialty of this house. So of course, we house our heavy rescue. Basically, it does all our heavy lifting for us. All our education, uh, trench rescue, rope rescue, all that equipment's carried on there. We also have a uh, SAM, which is our safety medical. And of course, our battalion chief also runs out of here. This is our tower truck. The tower truck is used for search and rescue and for uh, getting to elevated surfaces, and that's why we have a 100 foot ladder on the top of it. Over here, we have our engine. Engines carry water, and ideally they're used to go, actually go in and extinguish the fire. They'll hook up all the hoses, they'll get inside, they can add more hose to, for longer stretches and reach fires further away. The truck doesn't carry that much hose. And over here, we have our medic gear. Majority of the calls that we run here at Adams County are going to be uh, medical regulation, and that's why uh, I have Jason over here to explain more of the medical aspect. So, uh, just like my partner would say, most of our calls are medical, but we're all cross staff. So when you do call 911, you'll get an engine in a medic unit. We're all cross staff. There's either EMTs, paramedics, and all, all of us are firefighters. So thank you for uh, taking this time to do the tour with us. Thank you for coming by. But you got to go. got to go. I got to hear the dinner